Hey everyone, here we are in Chama, New Mexico for the last weekend of September where we're going to catch a couple of interesting things. The Galloping Goose and a double header passenger train heading out from Chama to Cumbres Pass. The mornings are cold, the leaves are gold, so let's get on board and ride this train. Galloping Goose is the popular name given to a series of seven rail cars officially designated as motors by the railroad built in the 1930s by the Rio Grande Southern Railroad and operated until the end of service on the line in the early 1950s. Originally running steam locomotives on narrow gauge railways, the perpetually struggling Rio Grande Southern developed the first of the geese as a way to stave off bankruptcy and keep its contract to run mail into the towns of the Rocky Mountains in Colorado. There was not enough passenger or cargo income to justify continuing the expensive steam train service at the then current levels, but it was believed that a downsized railway could return to profitability. The steam trains would transport heavy cargo and peak passenger loads, but motors would handle the lighter loads. Motors were not only less expensive to operate, but were also significantly lighter, thus reducing impact on the rails and roadbeds. The cost savings meant that the first goose was paid off and making a profit within three weeks of going into service. RGS built more geese and operated them until the company abandoned the right-of-way in 1952. In 1950, when the railroad finally lost its mail contract in favor of highway mail carriers, Three, four, five, and seven were converted for tourist operations, and the Galloping Goose name was officially recognized by the railroad. Large windows were cut into the sides of the freight compartments, and seating was added. A figure of a Galloping Goose and the words Galloping Goose were added to the car body doors. This service lasted only two years, and the last work of the geese on their home line was to take up the rails. Goose number five was bought by the city of Dolores, Colorado. After restoration in 1998, it is now operated from time to time on the Cumbres and Toltec and Durango and Silverton Railroads, as well as at the Colorado Railroad Museum. Getting two steam engines ready for a double header run up to Cumbres Pass requires an early morning start by the crews. 
Both engines have to be filled with water and coal. Denver and Rio Grande Western 484 stops at the water tower where a crew member fills the tank. After clearing out condensation, the locomotive moves to the coaling station where a front end loader dumps coal into the tender. Four joins 487 and the crew makes final preparations for departure. Thank you, uh, 260 out. 